Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys one of our massive Whole Foods haul. Now we normally shop at Whole Foods, Rouse, and Trader Joe's. Those are like our top three to get um, like pretty much everything that we need. But for some reason, I went into Whole Foods hungry today, so we end up getting pretty much everything we needed from here. So first, I'm going to start with the veggies just to go ahead and get that out the way. The first thing that we got was some bananas. Bananas are great, obviously, for anything. We like using them in our smoothies, and I like using them on top of my like parfaits or yogurt bowls. So bananas. We got some avocados. I got more than one, but they're in the fridge. So we got avocados. And I also got this beautiful organic heirloom tomato. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, perhaps maybe a sandwich or I don't know, but it just looks so pretty to me and um, I just wanted to get it. So I'm gonna use it for something. Next, we got some bell peppers. I got all the colors. I'm just showing you guys this just for reference. Y'all know what a bell pepper is. We got some nectarines. I feel like the nectarines, the white flesh, at Whole Foods are like the best. I don't know, they're crispy and they're sweet. So these are my favorite little snack. And then we also got some watermelon radish. Um, hopefully AC could put a picture right here so you guys can see what it really looks like. But basically when you cut it open, it kind of looks like a watermelon inside. I don't know, it's really pretty. I see it like when I go out to eat. So I just kind of wanted to get it for no reason. I told you guys I went in there hungry. Next, I got my mixed greens, and this is for my salad, or I pretty much throw this in whatever, just to get my greens in. I also got a big one of these uh, spinach. It's easy to throw in my uh, smoothies and get my greens in. So yeah, I love this. And I also got some kale and romaine lettuce and all, that other, all the other greens, but they're just in the fridge right now. I didn't want to drag those out. We also picked up some frozen fruit. This is uh, wild blueberries. I like to put these inside of my oatmeal. Um, it's perfect, I love these. Or in smoothies. We also got some mixed berries. These are for HD, he likes to use these in his berry smoothies. And then we got some mango chunks. These are also good to eat on their own. They're really good. All right, so that was it for our fruits and veggies. Next, we picked up these uh, Good Pop Strawberry Lemonade Ice Creams. I heard good things about these. I don't think I've tried these. I'm not sure if the kids have, but I got strawberry lemonade and uh, watermelon agave. And the ingredients are super clean, so I like to get stuff like this for the kids, especially during the summer. Next, these are for the kids. These are dark chocolate um, waffles and these are really good as well. These are for the kids. And we also got some taquitos. These are the beefy ones. Uh, we also got some chicken flavor as well. I think they have another flavor, but I got the beef and the chicken ones. Next, we have some foragers yogurt and this is what I eat for breakfast, and I just throw some fruit and granola on top. So this is my favorite plant-based yogurt, the Forager's Cashew Milk, unsweetened. Next, I got some organic braised tofu. This has like kind of like an Asian taste to it. So I like to put these in my spring rolls or like my Asian-inspired salads. I chop it up and like pan fry it, and this is so good. So speaking of tofu, we like to limit our soy intake just a little bit. Um, so I found this at Whole Foods as well, and this is basically like a hemp, a hemp version of tofu. So soy-free tofu has 30 grams of protein, and I haven't tried it yet, but I'll keep you guys updated on this. So I thought this was cool to try out, and it's extra firm. Next, we have some french fries for the kids. These are the waffle cut, and this is the Alexis brand. This is my favorite brand of like fries, onion rings, all that. So I have the waffle cut. We also got some hash browns. These are so good. These are the seasoned hash browns, super good. And then we also got some onion rings. 
And then this is new. I picked up some rosemary french fries. So this sounded really good to me. So, all right, so there goes the frozen things for the kids. They really enjoy that. Next, I wanted to show you guys these two sparkling waters that me and HD have been enjoying so much. It's the uh, is this Poppy and Ollie Pops. So a lot of you guys don't like the unsweetened sparkling waters, and this will be a great alternative for you because it has that sweet taste, but not all the sugary calories that normal soda has. So my favorite flavor is the strawberry vanilla, and uh, we also like another one that's like orange cream. So if you can find it, get it. It tastes like a cream sickle, so good. And then this one is raspberry uh, rose. This is super good. So these are quickly becoming our favorites. Next, I got this organic peanut sauce, and this is for like my spring rolls that I said that I mentioned earlier. I like to dip them in a peanut sauce. I haven't tried this one, but I'm gonna give it a try. I usually just make my own, but this is when I'm feeling lazy, so I'm gonna give that a try. Next, we have these corn patties. If you guys are familiar with our channel, you know we always get these. These are so good, my favorite. They're the spicy chicken patties. They're not too spicy, but these are really good. Me and the kids really enjoy these. You can pop these on a salad, as a chicken salad. So good, definitely try it if you haven't. Next, we have our Beyond Beef products. So these are just the um, beef grounds or well, ground beef, basically what it's supposed to mimic, ground beef. And then they also have it in a burger form. So yeah, Darion, my son, he loves the burgers and a lot of likes to use this for her spaghetti. So I picked that up. Next, we have some sausages. These are apple sage sausage. If you know me, then you know these are my absolute favorite. I love these, best flavor. Um, I use these for pretty much everything. I use it for breakfast, I use it for lunch and a salad. I use it for everything. And the boil, if you guys are familiar with our vegan seafood boil, this is the sausages that we use and they're so good, soy free, all that good stuff. Next, we have our Sweet Earth Bacon. This bacon is smoky and delicious. It's probably my favorite plant-based bacon as far as like flavor. Not so much texture, it's kind of like, I would say turkey bacon, like the Genio turkey bacon. That's what it reminds me of, but with a like smoky taste. So this is my favorite. So for me, I am on a calorie deficit, trying to lose a couple of pounds. So these are my alternative noodles that I've been using lately. So good, you really don't uh, miss the difference between noodles. I use these if I want like just regular noodles, spaghetti, or whatever I'm using noodles in. These are a great alternative and they're zero calories. And then they have different alternatives. They have, this one is actually specific for spaghetti. I haven't tried this one yet, but I'm sure it's gonna be good. So these are great if you're like calorie counting like I am right now. So next we have our tortillas. These are fairly new to me, but I absolutely love these. These are sweet potato, gluten-free, nut-free, corn-free, dairy-free, all that free and they're made super simple. The ingredients is basically potatoes, sweet potatoes, garbanzo beans, cassava, and things like that. And it doesn't have the corn in it and all that extra stuff, so I've been really, really enjoying these, and the flavor is perfect. The family has really been enjoying these Siete shells. These are the chickpea flour. They have chickpea flour, they have almond flour, they have so many, they have burrito ones, but these are like for tacos, but these are good too. You will not know the difference if you're trying to stay away from like the corn tortillas. These are really, really good. Next, I picked up one of my favorites. These are the Smart Sweets. These are similar to the uh, Swedish Fish, if you guys are familiar with those. I picked these up personally for when it's that time of the month and you're craving like sweets. It's perfect because it only has two grams of sugar and you know, very low in calories. So I like to snack on these. And the bag is blue guys, so it might look a little weird because of the blue screen, but yeah, these are bomb. Try them if you haven't. Next we have the Miyoko's Creamery Cheese. This is the smoky, it's smoked mozzarella. 
and I literally could eat this out the pack by itself. But um, normally I spread it like on toast and stuff like that. This is so, so good. One of my absolute favorites. We also picked up these Kite Hill raviolis. These are mushroom raviolis. If you guys are familiar with Kite Hill, they're like non-dairy cheese and sour creams and uh, cream cheese. So I believe that's what's inside with the mushrooms. So I'm super excited to try these out. We got the mushroom ravioli and they also have a butternut squash and we picked that. I think I have it somewhere over here or it's in the fridge. We picked that up as well. So I'm excited to try these out. Next we have our Old Faithful, the Just Egg. If you haven't tried this already, definitely give it a try because Just Egg is definitely the best being an egg alternative, so good, scrambles the same, so this is our go-to. And last but not least from Whole Foods, we picked up our favorite waters. These are the, what is it called, aquapana? I believe they're called aquapana, but these are so good. I mean, I know you guys are probably thinking it's just water, but just the smoothness and the crispness that these waters have is just, Definitely worth the price, and plus they're alkaline, so that's a bonus. I almost forgot to show you guys the Siete cheese. This is their nacho cheese, and it is so, so good. I eat this um, on top of like my burrito bowls when I make them at home, and also with their own cheese that they have, the Siete cheese, so, so good, you guys. And another item I almost missed, which is the kids' favorite, these are the seaweed snacks, like the dried roasted seaweed, and this brand is actually my favorite. It's not too greasy. Sometimes they're a little greasy, but these are really, really good, especially for kids to snack on instead of chips all the time. And then just as a bonus, I didn't get this from Whole Foods, but I just wanted to show you guys because I've been loving them lately, especially with my workouts. Not all the time, but just a few times. This is the Lenny and Larry chocolate chip cookies. If you guys haven't tried Lenny and Larry's cookies in the microwave or in the air fryer, warm it up for a bit, y'all. These are so, so good. So definitely try it out. But that is it for our haul. Hope you enjoyed everything that we got. Um, a few of you guys in our last hauls asked how long does the food last and how much do we pay for our family? This haul was roughly around $300 I believe and it should last us for about I would say two weeks we'll probably have to like replace a few things but majority of everything should last us about two weeks so that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions leave it down below hope you enjoyed this haul give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already also turn on those post notification bells that way you know whenever we're posting a new video and I'll talk to you later